Let's go, vlog number 11, how I went from training one player to 100. Lord, how dare I compare my pain? Your father turned his back and you were left to hang. I don't know why you did it, that I can't explain. How can you love the sinner who's desecrated your name? Lord, I deserve flames. Give me some, you on vlog number 11. There you go, bro. Hey, listen, I gotta give... I gotta give him credit because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for TZ out there hustling and networking. You, bro. Where we That's at, bro? You, man. We're at Westport Baptist to get us to this church right now. So we're very hopeful about it. The dude was very hopeful about us. Um, hope for some good results, man. So I'll let you. <laughs> school basketball tournament uh, that I'm hosting so this is basically the 16 and under state championships for the state of Kentucky when I first started training I only thought about getting one-on-one -on -one clients so getting players and families to commit to train with me one-on-one -on -one. but as I got into it I began to see through networking through building relationships with different people in the basketball community it's such a big market. Now, I live in Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky is basketball country. So you may live in a different market, but I know here in Kentucky, basketball is king. When I came back from overseas, one thing that I didn't know existed was the homeschool basketball uh, league. Huge community of families, a lot of more Christian families that homeschool, and they have their own sports network. It's really seriously like a Christian AAU circuit. These teams travel, it's competitive, it's got really good support from the parents and coaches. They have their own governing board and league. Well, through my connection with homeschool and coaching and training this team that I've shown you guys in past vlogs. I built a relationship with the commissioner and the board in the state of Kentucky of homeschool basketball. So each year they have multiple tournaments, state tournaments, uh, one day jamborees. We're hosting a big one today. And then just as a trainer, it's helped me grow from just training a few players to making it full time to now make it more of a business where we're hosting events and big tournaments like the one I'm showing you today. Get the Gatorade, my guy good, but he's not safe now. They try to shut us down and it ain't gonna slide. Only thing I fear is God and he on my side. That's the confidence of God, cause he got me. That's why I really feel like you can't stop me. That's all you got. So I could have never foreseen what was going to happen whenever I left overseas basketball and started training. My mindset in the beginning was just basic. Like, can I get enough players to train one-on-one -on -one full time? And as big as I thought was maybe like clinics, you know, camps in the summer. I, I never thought about how to grow it into something that's much bigger than just training players one-on-one. -on -one. So now we have our own youth leagues uh, that go year around and we have these big events and different relationships which basically funnel back into the private training. See you all come together, I'm telling you, I've seen. And that's how I went from training one player in a day to sometimes training over 100. Through youth leagues and practices and big events like this, being able to train multiple players and scale it into mass training, but not lose the quality. Again, that's about your team you have. If you got great trainers, great people that know the game, can demonstrate, can invest in players and teach the game, then you won't lose the quality. Right behind me is the last game of the tournament. It went great. Uh, my homeschool team that I work with, Heart for Christ, shout out. They won their division's championship, so for the JV team or 16 and under. So it was a great two-day event. I've got another bigger one coming in in four weeks. Uh, that's going to be the 18 and under varsity. Uh, homeschool championships for Kentucky. I just encourage you guys reach out to other people man you never know what kind of doors guys gonna open by just helping people doing what you love to do what you feel passionate about 
what you feel like God has called you to do. If you stay in that place, that sweet spot, using your gifts, it's amazing the things that, that God will do to open the door. And I can testify that by every day. Just, just turn around looking at this as a testament of God's grace on Hoops for Christ and what we do through the game of basketball. So I hope this helps you guys in a little way. Again, it's just a constant pursuit to do what I feel like God has called me to do. Using basketball as a platform to share the gospel. You gotta be able to make it a living, a full-time living, doing what you love to do. That's the pursuit um, that I'm on. I'm so grateful to be able to do it and help other trainers and coaches that, that wanna do similar to what I'm doing, especially if you wanna use it to invest in kids and to share Christ, man, I'm all about it. I'd love to give you guys some advice or help out as much as I can. Shoot me an email. Thank you guys again for watching this vlog. Please subscribe below. Love to help you guys in any way I possibly can. God bless.